Reviewing makeup is my full-time job. Here are the best new products that I tried this month. In my opinion, the must-have product for summer. It's a sunscreen that leaves a glowy finish behind. It is hydrating as well. It's the perfect makeup primer and sunscreen hybrid. Natasha Denona launched the worst concealer I have ever tried, but she's redeemed herself with this one. Color correctors and skin tone shades in a hydrating formula that's not too heavy on the under eyes. Valentino sent shockwaves through me with how good this concealer is. It's lightweight, skin-like finish. I think so many people will love this. Never did I think I'd recommend this $85 palette, but this palette makes me look snatched when I need some brightness or depth. Pink powder, I doubted you at first, but when my favorite powder comes out with a pink color, I have to try it. It's a duo that I did not know that I needed. Dried this for the nostalgia, stayed for the performance. This is as blurring as my Huda Beauty powder. I see why it was so popular for so many years. I'm gonna bankrupt you and make you buy this palette, and you'll thank me for it. Hourglass has the best powders on the market. Odin's Eye palettes. If you know, you know. They come out with the best palettes. Look at these. 